Hello everyone, Taja Hao. So we are here once again with a new video which is about Chinese weekdays. This is very commonly using in China whenever you are traveling to China or you are like you are already living in China. So it's very important for you to learn these some of new things to survive in China. So Chinese weekdays. Today's topic is Chinese weekdays. So Chinese weekdays. In weekdays we used to say the week. How to say week in Chinese language? That is called Xing Qi. So we have a new in this new video. We are going to learn weekdays. Before going to learn this uh, weekdays, this is very important. Once again, we have to learn the Chinese numbers. If you remember that we have in the video that we're like in the counting in the weekdays and even in the min month's name, it's very important. You need to learn the counting from zero to ten. And already we had a video about it. It's briefly like we mentioned, like、uh, zero to ten. So if you didn't subscribe our channel, please subscribe our channel and also go back to watch that video about the counting. So let's start about this weekdays. So first we revise the all the numbers in Chinese. So how to say zero in Chinese? Ling, ling, e, r, san. 四、五、六、七、八、九、十。So here's like how to say Monday in Chinese. It's very simple. Like we used to say, 星期 mean week, and 一 mean one. So it's mean week one. It's mean week first day. So 星期一 it's mean Monday. So now, if I gonna say Tuesday, so guess what will be the Tuesday? It's mean the second day. So what about two? How to say two in Chinese? That will be R. So it will be Xing Qi R. I hope it is easier. I think it's not very difficult. So Xing Qi R. So how about the third day, which is Wednesday? So we used to say Xing Qi San. Then there will be fourth day, Xing Qi Si Thursday. And then there will be Xing Qi Wu. It means Friday. Xing Qi Liu means Saturday. Okay, now there will be the sixth day is Saturday. So now guess how about the last day, which is seventh day? It do you think that it will be Xing Qi Qi? Actually, it is not Xing Qi Qi. It's not the seventh day. They used to say it Xing Qi Ri or either Xing Qi Tian. It means Sunday. So, uh, Tian mean which are at the end are mentioning that means day. So we used to say Xin Qi Ri or Xin Qi Tian. So both of them are correct. You can use any one of it, right? So it it was all okay with you that we already uh already just revised it. So we going further like Xin Qi once again we going to revise it. So let's repeat with me. Repeat after me. It will be easier for you. You can see like Xing Qi Yi, then R, then San, then Si, Wu, Liu, and at the end Tian. So now you can just imagine. I give you break for it that you gonna revise it by yourself. So repeat after me. Xing Qi Yi, Xing Qi R, Xing Qi San, Xing Qi Si, Xing Qi Wu, Xing Qi Liu, Xing Qi Ri. Xing Qi Tian. So, can you revise it by your sound? So revise it, please, right now. I hope you've done that. So now moving towards next. So here's some another like in China that some people used to call as well like in this sound, Li Bai, Li Bai, Li Bai mean worship. So they used to some people used to say Li Bai Yi. It means the worship first day. So it can say like first Li Bai Yi mean Monday. Li Bai Er Tuesday. Li Bai San. Li Bai Si. Li Bai Wu. Li Bai Liu. Li Bai Ri. Li Bai Tian. So these are all the sounds are same. Just at the place of Xing Qi, they use the word Li Bai. This is also using in China. So next one is Zhou. This is the word Zhou mean is cycle, so they used to say as well Zhou Yi, Zhou Er, Zhou San, Zhou Si, Zhou Wu, Zhou Liu, Zhou Ri, 
And how to say weekday? Weekday in Chinese we used to say 平日平日 It means weekday. And how to say weekend in Chinese language is 周末周末 So here is like、uh, we have already cleared these are all of the words. But how to say weekday and weekend in Chinese language? Weekday in Chinese is 平日 And also say it as 工作日 It means the working days. Work weekdays also called 工作日 which means working days. Weekend in Chinese is 周末 The terms for weekday and weekend are the same across the three categories of days of the week in Chinese above. Thanks for watching our video. And further, if you want to get some more informative videos, please subscribe our channel because you are going to get some more information later on as well. About China and about the Chinese language, so all the time you are welcome. You can comment us and you can also give us your feedback. Thanks for watching. See you again. 再见。